Shabbat shalom. Shabbat shalom. <laughs> it is so nice to be here this Shabbos evening with you. Um, we're getting ready for Hanukkah. The first night of Hanukkah is next Thursday. So we are getting our menorahs out, getting them cleaned and sparkly and making sure we have our candles. If you do not have your Hanukkah candles tomorrow morning during our or before our outdoor service at 1030, Meryl will be with us to sell Hanukkah candles. So please do join us tomorrow morning at 1030. Let me start with a reading about lighting the candles and then we will turn to Jan and Sherry. As the days grow shorter and the darkness grows longer, may the light of your presence, O oh God, burn even more brightly in my heart. Illuminate the path of my life so that I can travel it with confidence and clarity of thought. As the days begin to grow longer and the darkness shorter, help me to be a light to others through the way in which I live my life. Blessed are you, torch in the darkness, who lights the way for all who seek you. And now we turn to Jan and Sherry. Baruch Ata Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam, Asher Kibshana Bonitzaba, Bitzivanu Lahapner Shel Shabbat. And now to Eileen Altman for a reading. I search for peace and look to you the source, the palace, a time to renew. The light of the candles bring an inner glow so my soul can rest and continue to know that wholeness awaits when you stop and refresh 
creating rituals with others that call us to bless. We all receive the gift of an extra soul, neshama yatara, an enveloping great whole. Kabbalah teaches us above and so below. The male and female come to know together they must be in unity. So the divine will be fulfilled in universal harmony. Laha dodi, beloved come to each one who is here. So Shabbat Shalom can bring grace ever so dear. We continue on page 12 of Mishkan Tefillah, Lechuna Ranana, as we welcome Shabbat. Shabbat is like a babbling brook. It goes for a long time over the same spot again and again, singing the song of the soul. We dance along the shore and God makes our footsteps light. We continue with Lachadodi on page 20. <clears throat> Continue with Shalom Alechem, page 24, welcoming the angels, welcoming the extra soul into our hearts. Shalom Alechem, Shalom, 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 
messengers of the Most High, majesty of majesties, holy one of blessing. We continue with the Chatzik Kaddish, page 26. Yit Kaddash, Yit Kaddash, Shemei Rabbah, Amen. Ve'almadi v'rach yurte ve'almich malchutei, Be'chayechon uv'yomechon, Uchayedecho Beit Yisrael, Pagabagan, Uvizman Karim, Beimaru Amen, Yeheshme Rabba Mevorach, Leolam Ulal Meomaya, Yitbarach, Yitbarach Beishtabach, Vid va arvi draman vid nase, vid va da vid va le vid va la, shmer kodesh tabrehu, le lamin kobrechata veshirata, tush vechata venechemata, dami ran be'alma, v'imaru amen. We rise for the bar who are called to worship, Page twenty-eight. Ma'ari Baravim, page thirty, as we acknowledge that it is now dark. And we observe the contrast between the dark and the light and what they mean in our lives. This is an hour of change. Within it, we stand uncertain on the border of light. Shall we draw back or cross over? Where shall our hearts turn? Shall we draw back, my brother, my sister, or cross over? This is the hour of change, and within it, we stand quietly on the border of light. What lies before us? Shall we draw their master or cross over? Adonai Hama'aru Aravim. We prepare for the Shema. I invite you to close your eyes. Take a deep breath in and out. Feel the words. 
inside and outside. Shema Yisrael Adonai Eloheinu Adonai Echad Shem Kivod Shem Kivod Malachuto Please be seated. Let us join together, page 36, as we read the Ve'ahavta, You Shall Love. You shall love Adonai your God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your might. Take to heart these instructions with which I charge you this day. Impress them upon your children. Recite them when you stay at home and when you are away, when you lie down and when you get up. Bind them as a sign on your hand and let them serve as a symbol on your forehead. Inscribe them on the doorposts of your house and on your gates. Thus you shall remember to observe all my commandments and to be holy to your God. I am Adonai, your God, who brought you out of the land of Egypt to be your God. I am Adonai, your God. Adonai Eloheichem. Emet. Page 40. Michamocha, Crossing the Sea. <laughs> change the light around us, you change the light within us. We hear you whisper gently, this is the sacred time. This is the soul change time. This is the Sabbath, my gift to you. We continue, page 43, let there be love. Let there be love and understanding among us. Let peace and friendship be our shelter from our storms. Let there be love and understanding among us. Let peace and friendship be our shelter from our Storms. 
continue on page 44, the Shamru, and we shall keep and guard the Sabbath, for it is holy. Continue with the Amidah, the Tefillah, the central portion of our prayer. We begin the Adonai Sefataiti Tah, page 47. I invite you to rise. Adonai Sefataiti Tah, Mufi Adi Tehilatecha. Adonai, open up my lips, that my mouth declare your praise. Baruch atah Adonai, Eloheinu, Elohe avotenu v'imotenu, Elohe Abraham, Elohe Yitzchak, Elohe Yaakov, Elohe Sarah, Elohe Rivka, Elohe Rachel, Elohe Leah, Ha'el ha'gadol ha'gibor v'hanorah, El Elyon, Komel Hasadim Tovim, Bekone Hako, Bezoher Hasea Vokimahot, who may be Gula Livne Venehem, Leman Shemo Beava, Melechose Rumushiao Magain, Prochata Adonai, Magain Abraham, Bezrat Sarah. Atagi Borleo Lamadonai, Mechayeti Matara Hoshia, Mashiva Rua Homori Hagashem, Mechakel Chaim Bechesed, Mechaye Metin Berachamim Rabbi, So Mech Noflim Berofe Holim, Umatir Asurim. We take a few moments for silent prayer from within our hearts or on the page. Oh, 
moment to think about those people in our lives who are in need of healing. And we offer them prayers. We offer their caretakers, their doctors, their nurses, their families. We offer them all prayers because it takes a village. And all of us probably know someone who has been ill recently or is struggling with illness right now. And our hearts go out to them, our prayers go out to them, and we wish for them a refuah shalema, a full and complete healing. Let us join together. We like to think of ourselves as decent, intelligent, thoughtful human beings, guided by the best of intentions. Yet honest self-examination informs us that even the most decent and compassionate among us possesses a darker side to our personalities. Our tradition calls this the sitra achra, the other side. Our sitra achra can disguise itself as virtue. Ruthless ambition can masquerade as work ethic. Cruelty and vindictiveness towards others as honesty and sincerity. Gossip and backstabbing as interest and concern. And hypocrisy as keeping the peace. The human capacity for self-delusion is astounding. Jacob in Parshat Vayishlach has lived a life framed by trickery, deceit, and theft. Though God has been right there with him, as the verse, God was in this place and I did not know it, reminds us, Jacob has struggled to keep on a righteous path. Until finally he is confronted with an angel or dream or his own ego or subconscious, we're not sure what it is, and Jacob wrestles to save his soul and succeeds. Succeeds so well that he is able to greet his long lost brother Esau with words of brotherly love and contrition. Succeeds so well that his much beloved son Joseph 
will become our fourth patriarch. Yes, his beloved Rachel will die. He and his other sons will eventually know famine and his daughter Dina will survive a brutal rape at the hands of his enemies. No one in the Torah escapes the trials of life just as none of us live only happy lives. But how we and Jacob choose to live through such valleys depends on how we confront our sitra achra, our other side. To conquer our less attractive urges, we must first, like Jacob, ford a river. We must be willing to look at ourselves through an honest mirror with our eyes wide open. Then like Jacob, we must have the courage to wrestle with the darkest, most offensive side of ourselves, the selfishness within us, the ruthlessness within us, the racist, sexist, homophobe, and judgmental spirit that threatens to overcome us at every moment. Only when we have the courage to wrestle with the sitra achra can we obtain God's blessings because only then do we realize that God is truly with us. Only then do we understand that God is the good within and around us, accessible when we embrace the good within ourselves. This Parsha offers us a challenge much as Musar, the study of our personality traits does, to examine ourselves and to make adjustments when we bend too far to one side or another. When we are too selfish or too proud, too dismissive, too judgmental, or too materialistic, the list goes on. Some say that our life's work is to balance ourselves so that the sitra achra can never triumph, never consume us, never dominate us. A lofty task for sure, but imagine what the world would be if we did this work. Imagine how much closer we might be to the messianic age when peace and compassion and kindness will rule the day. It is Micah 6, 8. Act justly, love kindness and mercy, and walk humbly with God. May it be so. Our service continues with the Alenu. Found on page 282, we rise as the ark doors are open. Whenever death comes, it is too soon for those of us left to mourn. When death leaves adults to grieve over parents or grandparents, aged aunts or older siblings, it is in an imponderable anguish, but we bow to God's plan. Yet when death comes too soon, wounding parents who will never see their children grown, 
hurting children too young to understand, or spouses who ache for just one more hug, it can seem that God has abandoned us. But death and our pain are as much a part of life as are our joys and strivings. To live is to be touched by death. May we always remember to reach out to those who mourn and never to forsake God who has given us life. We will continue with Kaddish. We take a look at the screen of our December communal yard sites. We invite you to say the names of those you see and recognize aloud and the names of any who you do not see but are remembering in your hearts aloud. Jane Fellner. Marion O'Connor, Barbara Patchen. And let us continue with Kaddish. Yit kadal v'yit kadash shemei raba, v'alma divra chirute v'yamlich malchute, v'chayechon v'yomechon v'chaye d'chol beit Yisrael, v'agala v'zman kari v'imaru, amen. Yehe shemei raba mevorach le'olam u'lalmei almaya, yit barach v'yishtabach v'yit pa'ar v'yit romam v'yit nasei, Vita dar vita le vita lal shame de kudisha berichu. Le elamin kol birchata vishirata. Tush bechata venechemata. Da amiran be alma vimru. Amen. Yehe shlama rabba min shamaya. The chayim alenu ve al kol yisrael. Vimru. Amen. O se shalom vim romav. Huya se shalom. Alenu ve al kol yisrael. Vimru. Amen. Kol ha'olam kulo gesher tsarma od. The entire world is but a narrow bridge, but the most important thing is not to be afraid. Kol ha'olam kulo gesher tsarma Eileen for a final reading. May it be your will, my God, and God of my mothers and fathers, that all of the work that I have done in the past week will have been for good, for merit, and for life. I have spoken, worked, created, formed, whether by speech of the mouth or speech of the heart, labor of the hands or the legs, whether creating objects or dreams, whether paving paths or creating ideas, whether the separation is within me or whether the separation is between me and others. Through all my labor, I created new worlds. I created and saw it was good. May it be your will that it will be very good. I have completed my tasks with heaven and earth and all that fills them. And now may it be your will that I return to the internal world to breathe, to comfort that I will move from the six days of deeds to the holy Shabbat, from the old to the new under the sun, from the breath of my mouth that has ended to the breath that will fill the world that is your glory. From a concluded week to unending time, from finished work to an infinite world, 
from a world that I created last week to life in the world to come. From regular days to a day that is a pure Shabbat of rest and eternal life, from sanctification to renewal with all my beloveds and my family, my brothers and my sisters, crowned with new souls. And let us say, Amen. Thank you to Eileen. Thank you to Sherry and Jan for participating in our service this evening. Before we conclude, just a reminder, tomorrow morning, please join us at 1030. We will be sitting out in a grassy area. Bring your own chairs, wear your mask. We will be socially distanced and we will enjoy a Shabbat morning service together. Also, if you have gifts for the adoptive family, tomorrow morning is the drop off from nine to 11 outside the sanctuary. We have an eye help coming up in a few weeks. If you haven't signed up yet, please see that information on the newsletter. Lots of study groups and things going on. So you can be busy with Congregation Nefesh Soul every weekend if you so choose. Um, next Saturday night, we will be doing our Hanukkah sing-along. We have some of our congregants who are going to be performing and then we'll just do kind of a sing-along. We'll put the words up on the screen. So please join us. Anything else? No, thanks again, Amber. As yes, always. <laughs> thank you to our tech guru, Amber, who is our incoming president. We are very delighted to announce. So this Sunday will be our final board meeting with me running it, yay. <laughs> Looking forward to Amber taking over in January. We conclude with Havenu Shalom Alechem. <laughs> Shalom. Shabbat shalom. <laughs>